All right, so today I'll be unboxing Tidal Blades Heroes of the Reef. Now this was a rare find. Um, I was I put this game on my wish list, but I didn't think I'd ever actually buy it. I was also contemplating buying the deluxe edition versus the retail edition. Obviously, the retail edition is a lot cheaper than the deluxe edition, but. I didn't I didn't know for sure if I wanted to get the deluxe edition uh, for a game that um, I wasn't 100% sure I was gonna like now I still like the game don't get me wrong I like this game this is a really cool game I really think this is an awesome game um, but I, I wasn't sure if this game was gonna be um, uh, super enjoyable I, I didn't know if I, I was gonna feel the same about the game after playing it uh, that I feel for it right now, um, but I'm probably I probably will love this game regardless because this game has a solo variant too. So gotta love that a big game like this with a solo variant, which is awesome. But um, so when I was at the game store the other day, or today actually, actually I said I, actually I got it today. When I was at the game store today, I just happened to be at the right place at the right time because this hit the shelf 15 minutes prior to me picking it up. And this was the only copy they had available to purchase. So I figured it was now or never for getting this game. So yes, it's the retail edition. So I'm sure there's a lot, been a lot of unboxing videos for this game that uh, were the deluxe edition, but this will be the retail edition. So let's see the big, let's see the differences if you've watched the deluxe edition. I'm sure you can pick out the different dif differences in this game between this one and the Deluxe. Uh, and I sort of know some of the stuff that might be in the Deluxe. So let's take a look and see what's in the retail edition of this game. Okay, so here we have the rule book. It's a big, huge rule book. We're not going to uh, take a look at every single page in the rule book for this video because there's just so much content. But look, the artwork, the artwork is amazing. Really, really cool. Big, humongous rule book. This is probably the biggest, thickest rule book I have. And I'm not surprised because this is a big game. Then we have just as big. The Almanac. Just, just so big and thick. So much, so much in this game. Okay, here we have the components. Now, if you get the Deluxe Edition, I would imagine you still get the retail stuff. So, if you have the Deluxe Edition, these fruit tokens here are actually rubbery uh, fruit or mangoes or oranges or something whatever these are supposed to be I think they're either mangoes or oranges so um, you would get you would get these in uh, rubber so let's punch out the one that just uh, popped out so that's cool um, but still I think I think I'll be happy with the components as is I don't have to have uh, a rubbery fruit uh, for the tokens and then here's the players that you can play as this guy looks like some sort of turtle with a big giant scythe then we have this crocodile guy he's one of the players uh, this is uh, an azolto another player you can play as and we have one human it looks like because the other guy is definitely some sort of turtle or tortoise type of uh, uh, guy. And then we have another human over here that I believe that you can play as as well. So you can play as um, all of them. Maybe maybe he isn't a player. I don't know. Because I don't see any of the tokens for him here. So maybe he isn't a player you can play as. Um, and then obviously lots of other tokens that... Uh, we have the uh, the wave racers, I believe they're called or something, uh, tokens here. And a bunch of other tokens, looks like seashells, so those must be the shells. Another type of resource in the game besides fruit. 
cool. Okay, here we have Lamara Stadium. Advance the boat and collect rewards. So this is the stadium. So that's really cool. Um, what else do we have in here? Droska Rain. Huh. Cool. Uh, here's, uh, I guess, the rules if you're going to play solo. And here's the rules if you're playing two-player mode. I think the monster cards are going to go on to this board here. Then we have the Chronoseum. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> cool. Okay. And some other pieces I'm not sure what to do with as of yet. Champion board. Ah, oh, here's the player boards. So you can, if you're playing as the crocodile guy, he came in here, which I probably will be playing as. Here's his uh, player board, and here's all of his attributes and stuff. So we got synergy, and you can rotate these dials, I think. Yeah, like that. So resilience, synergy, spirit, and focus. Cool. I don't exactly know what all of these do, but it looks like spirit is for stunt power. Focus is... Not sure what focus is for. Um, resilience and synergy. Synergy must be for the cards, for the characters. Alright, then here's the next cool guy. Echo. Cool. And a Zoltal. Nice. Beautiful. Then we have Axel. You know, my middle name is actually Axel, except there's an E in my Axel name. Still, it's pronounced the same way, I think. So his name must be Axel. Then here's the alternative human. Her name is Dust, I think. I think it's a girl. Probably. Then we have the Citadel of Time. Interesting. Really cool. What else do we got? We got a nice, uh, looks like a score pad. Nice and thick. Nice score pad. We got some dice. And we've got some more dice. And then we have dice. Uh, these are really nice. These uh, eight sided dice. Let's take a look at these. Oh, those are cool. I love these dice. Nice dice. Very cool. Uh, let's put them back in the bag so we don't lose them. And we got more dice. More dice. And more dice. And some, looks like some sort of shield. That's really cool. Let's take a look at this. Now, the dice come in these baggies, but if I remember correctly, the Deluxe Edition has a really nice tray that you can keep all the dice in. I can live without a tray for the dice. Keeping them in the bags are just fine with me. But this is really cool. The retail version still comes with this really cool, heavy, metal shield. Really cool. Really, really cool. It's heavy. Very heavy. Very cool. Let's put that back in the bag. Let's take a look at some of these dice. We won't take a look at all of them because there's still lots to, to unbox in this box here. But we can take out some of them. Let's 
really, really cool. Really, really cool dice. Of course, I don't really know, you know what uh, which each of these are all for, but I mean, I might know some of the game a little bit, but I certainly don't know how to play yet. That's for sure. So let's put them all back in there, which are not going in quite as nicely as they came. We can worry about that later, though. What else do we got? We have stands here. So these are for uh, the characters. So if you get the uh, Deluxe Edition, you get miniatures for all of the uh, characters. But in this game, the Retail Edition, you get these stands, and then you punch out the uh, characters. So, let's see here. Let's punch out some characters. Or let's put, just punch out my favorite. And stand him up. Maybe it goes in a certain way. There we go. Okay. So that's cool. The artwork is awesome. Um, so I can live without having the miniatures. I can enjoy playing with these just as, just as well. Because the artwork is awesome on these. It's double-sided. And, you know, it works pretty well. Stands up nicely. So that'll be fine with me. Uh, not having the miniatures. If I uh, ever find the miniatures um, sold separately from... Uh, uh, from the box, then maybe I'll get the miniature someday, if they ever do that. But for now, this is this is awesome. I like this. This is cool. We'll just uh, just set him aside over there and hope he doesn't get knocked off the edge. Okay, then we have cards and more cards and more cards. Looks like there's monsters on some of these. Ooh, we do have one miniature. Looks like somebody's, uh, looks like the turtle guy is fighting a sea serpent or something in this one. So take, let's take a look at this miniature. Can't say we didn't get a single miniature because we got at least one, one miniature. Yeah, it looks like the turtle guy is fighting a sea serpent on here. You know, like a undersea dragon, if you will. Sea serpent. That's what it looks like. It's hard to see because it, it's not uh, focusing on... It's not... There we go. That's better. Now you guys can see it better. So now it's focusing on it. See, it's the turtle guy. It's the turtle. See, see, it's definitely a turtle. Cause, take a look at all those scutes. You, you, you can see all the scutes on the back there. There's little scutes. It's really hard to see, obviously, in this in this camera, but I can see the scutes just fine. So definitely a turtle, humanoid, a turtle folk of some kind fighting a sea serpent. That is cool. That is cool. See, I can't complain. You can't complain about the retail version because it's not like you don't get any miniatures. I've got one right here, and it's awesome. Cool. Not sure what it does, but it's cool. Very cool. Okay, what else do we got? We got more cards. And more cards. And more cards. And I think that's all of the cards. So uh, let's take a look at these cards. That's better. So here we have Echo, the Azultal. And obviously, all the different cards that are part of his. So if you're playing as Echo, you're going to get all of these cards, I think. Or at least some of these cards. don't exactly know um, for sure. But it looks like each of the characters gets their own unique uh, play style as well. So that's really cool. So let's 
Let's uh, take a look at the rest of Echo's cards. Artifact, Wisdom of the Ancients, Triumph of the Mind, Follower of the Fold. Not sure how to pronounce that, but it looks like it has something to do with dimensions. Transverser? Suro's Transverser? Traveling to different dimensions, maybe? Pragmatic Foresight. Feats of the Beta. Beta Lord. Beta Lord. Huh. <laughs> Make it look easy. Mindful Projections. Interesting. Depth of Knowledge. So that's Echo. And that's Echo's cards. Player cards. Okay. Well, let's see what else we got. We have dust here. Dust is next. And each of the uh, characters have their own story. So Dust's story. Dust's play style. Bunch of shields in this one. Uh, Scarab Compass. Forged by the Sands. Quick Learner. Rise to the Challenge, New to the Isles, Tri Knight Sword, Chase the Crowd, Huh, Battle Scars, and Reckless Plot. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. What else we got? So next is Cayman, and Cayman's playstyle. And Cayman's story. So we got the uh, Crab Bone Crossbow. Generous Trainer. Merc for Hire. Tricks of the Trade, Ancient Rivalry, Crocodile Armor, Fruitful Connections, Outcast's Victory, Solitary Warrior, and Irregular Mooring. Hmm. Okay, interesting. And then the last player you can play as, which is Axel. Axel's playstyle. There we go. Axel's story. Braces positioner. Pushing the limits. Young prodigy. Something heritage. Local Champion, Racing Engine, not sure how to pronounce that one, Shell Wager, Outshine the Competition, and Unfading Optimism. Hmm. So those are his cards. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So those, I think, are all the player cards. There's quite a few of them. So I wonder if you have to play with them all, or you have access to them all? Something tells me you do not have access to all of the player cards. I have to double check that, but something tells me you don't have access to every of them, all of them. Or you can choose which ones you're going to play. I bet you that's it. You can choose which ones you want to play. I bet you that's what it is. Um, of course, I'm just assuming. Hmm. So it looks like we have, these are all market cards, and they have resources on them, it looks like, or dice, and other stuff, and a scroll, looks, looks like this one works with the dials, one of the dials, another dial, so it looks like they do a variety of different things, as well as just the resources. 
shells and fruit. More dice. There's different dice, too. They work with different dice. Interesting. Okay, well, that's pretty much... Oh, this one's different. So, uh, yeah, they're all market cards. This one is in a market card, too, and it's got it's got words and stuff on it. Turtle Benefactor. I told you he was a turtle. I told you he was a turtle. Okay, cool. So those are all those. We still have more, though. Not sure what all these cards do, of course, but um, glory to the Crocs. <laughs> I like that one quite a bit, for sure. And special announcements, whatever those are for. <laughs> we still have more. Hmm. So a lot of different cards. Not sure what all these do, of course, so we'll just go through them. Some of them are the same anyways. Interesting. Huh. Framed. Rug uh, rigged. Huh. Interesting. Okay. What else we got? Looks like those are beetles. Giant beetles. Wow. It's just phenomenal. There's so much going on. Looks like this is some sort of gauntlet type race. There's different names for all these different pictures. But there's a lot going on with them, that's for sure. Escape the sinking cell. Hmm. So lots going on with these. So many of them. So many cards. So many cards. There's no way you can play with all these cards in a single game. There's just so much going on. Ooh, Way of the Serpent. I love that. Awesome. I really like that a lot. Cool artwork. I love this artwork. Trial of the Endless Sands. Hmm. Wind of Knives. Cool. Very cool. Rumble with the Frog Pack. That's cool. The artwork is awesome. The artwork is just beautiful. Beautiful. There is no way you can play with all these things, though. There's no way. Toad time. Ooh, frog frenzy. Myriad maze. Hmm. So much going on. A sandaconda. Oh, that's cool. I bet you that's one of the monsters. Cool. Well, those are awesome. But that's not all. There's still more. I'm still not done. Uh, let's see here. I think there's still this one left to open. I think these are the monsters. Alright, so here's the monsters. The giant mud crab. Ooh, cool. Thunder eels. Oh, those are cool. The Crawling Slobfish. The Phantom Krill. The Two-Headed Hydra. Huh. 
the massive hagworm. You don't want to mess with those hagworms. Hagworms are like parasitic uh, fish, I think. A bulla burra. A bull. Bulla burra. Hmm. The colossal spine squid. Hmm. Tide terror. Sea hounds. Ooh, those are cool. A la a la bobs a la bobster, I think. Huh, weird. Ooh, I love this monster. A whirlpool weaver. Oh, sweet. A manta ray monster. Oh, that is cool. Dragon slime. <laughs> a garakuda. A Cora. And it looks like this is the last one. Karakeen. I absolutely love all the monsters in this game. It looks like these are player aids. So that's that's all of the uh, monsters. I love the monsters. I love all of them. Those are awesome. Sweet. Really cool. Well, that's everything. That is everything in the retail edition of... of uh, title Blades Heroes of the Reef. So thank you guys for watching this unboxing video. And so now you know what comes in the retail edition of uh, of this game. I mean, there's I think there's a dice tray in the deluxe edition. There's the uh, miniatures for all of the characters. Um, and then uh, there's also um, I think a an arena. Uh, an, an actual arena that you can actually roll your dice into. And I think that also comes in the Deluxe Edition. But that's everything. I think that I know of, anyways, that the Deluxe Edition has, that I'm aware of, um, that is in the Deluxe Edition. So that's the only things you don't get, that I'm aware of, anyways, that you don't get in the Retail Edition. So, and I think I can live without any of that stuff. I'm sure I can find another way to roll the dice. Or just roll the dice into the box, like I've always done with other games. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. The retail edition of, of this game is awesome. It's beautiful. The artwork is awesome. I love it. I absolutely love it. And this, and this guy here, Cayman. Absolutely love this guy. Cayman, for sure. And that Azoltal Echo is pretty cool, too. Um, but Cayman is definitely the coolest hero out there. Well, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you guys liked this video, and I'll see you guys again next time.